Hey guys, a little something different tonight because it's been so rough, not a lot of catches. Check out this fishing contest coming up in October 3rd. You need to join it. Three, there's three places, or I should say uh, longest whiting, longest game fish, and in the junior division. Guys, for the longest whiting, top prize is 1000 Same goes for the longest game fish, 1000 And then the rest of the prizes are on there. Go to their website, Neptune Baptist Church. Uh, Larry Fishman Fitch fishes it as well, and I'm planning on fishing it too. Let's hope for some good weather. Now on to what has been a very rough week, guys. This was taken Thursday afternoon after the last squall from what was left of Hurricane Sally came through. The winds were blowing southwest 20 to 25 with higher gusts. As you can see on a clean index, the water is a 2, which would be a yoo-hoo. If you like you who chocolate milk you know what i'm talking about maybe we should do the water clarity by uh drinks because <laughs> you who and coffee would be two and one but anyways it's been rough all week not a lot has been going on um the river's still been good flounder redfish and uh, sheephead so if you can uh, get into the river and the next few days do not look too good either uh, Friday, tomorrow, we got a west wind starting off in the morning at 10 to 15, switching over to the north-northeast, 15 to 20, surf 3 to 4 foot. You got a high tide in the morning at 9.29 a.m. and a low at 3.41 p.m. Then Saturday, the real fun begins. Northeast, 20 to 25, gust to 30 plus. Surf increasing 5 to 8 foot. High tide is at 10.21 in the morning and a low at 4.35 just a little hint, it's not going to get very low, guys. There's going to be a lot of beach erosion. In fact, today when I took this video, there was quite a bit of beach erosion just since Monday. Then you're looking at Sunday, northeast, 25 to 30 with higher gusts. Surf, 7 to 8 foot. High tide at 1118 and a low at 528 in the afternoon. Going to be fun, guys. So, uh, yeah, the water temperature right now is 85.3. What would be nice is if this northeast wind coming up will drop it a couple degrees. We shall see. We got next week coming with a lot of lower temps, highs in the 70s, and uh, we got some 60s for lows at night. So that will start the trend of uh, hopefully dropping the water temperature. One thing to keep in mind is even if our water temperature is warm, up to the north right now where the Pompano are at, South Carolina, North Carolina, they're going to be dropping into the 40s in North Carolina for a low. So those fish that are migratory will start headed south. So right now is the time to get all your gear ready because before you know it, they'll be here. Just because our water is 85 does not mean the pompano won't be here any day after a few cold fronts hit further north of us. In fact, in some of the pier logs I have, some of the best pompano days we had up there, the water was 85. But in the Carolinas, it had dropped substantially, so it forced the fish south. With that being said, uh, what I'm going to do is just get my gear ready, get ready for that surf tournament. I want to make sure all my surf rods are ready. It's going to be a fun tournament. Let's hope for some nice weather. Uh, the way it's been, it's just been <laughs> awfully rough. We need to get out of this tropical season so we can get back to some calm. But if you are going to fish this weekend or tomorrow, Actually, tomorrow on Friday, in the morning, you might be able to fish. The problem is the water is filthy. Uh, if you do want to fish this weekend, I would suggest in the river are the inlets. Fort Clinch, inside the Volano Inlet, Huguenot, um, Matanzas, Nassau Sound, all those areas. And uh, with this high, uh, high wind coming and high tides, and you got a 6 6.5 high tide so it's going to be extremely high flood tides it may be a little hard to catch mullet so you better go on the low tide it won't get very low but uh just try to find some mullet if not get some live shrimp mud minnows there's flounder and reds they don't stop eating just because the tide gets high and it gets windy it just becomes harder for us to fish uh, the pier they've added another section so they're moving along It'll be interesting to see how sturdy it is after this weekend. Hopefully there will be no damage. Hopefully no cranes are in the water. But uh, let's hope for the best. As you can see on this picture, that's, that's water that's holding over 
where there was about a three foot drop that leads to the beach. So the waves were coming up quite high and that trend will continue on Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday. So uh, after this blow guys, and it calms down, the fishing should be excellent. Also, check out A1A Surf and Jetty Fishing. He ties his own pompano flies that you can use for double hook pompano rigs. These things are awesome looking. In fact, I was just talking to him and telling him that when I was uh, younger and fished the old pier, I would usually buy those little uh, crappie jigs, speckled perch jigs that look sort of like this, and we would absolutely crush the pompano on them. The only drawback was they had little tiny hooks, and I lost many a big pompano on them. But with these hooks, that should not be a problem. They're sturdy circle hooks, so... Guys, give him a shout out, check out his Facebook page, and uh, try you some. I'm going to try some as well. Don't forget to go to thesinkerguy.com and get all your Sputnik fishing needs. And if you don't want to order them, you can ask him where he has them in the uh, shops around Jacksonville, guys. He also has Pompano rigs as well. I will not use another Sputnik after using the ones that he's made. They are by far the best in the business. So, uh... Check him out, look his website up, and uh, check out his YouTube page, guys. And if you're on Facebook, don't forget to go to our Broken Reel 23 Facebook page, where we have daily updates and uh, serve conditions, bait conditions, and what's biting. Send us uh, requests, and we'll uh, get you in there. Mm -hmm.